everybody welcome back to the channel so I'm back on the Nova Chevy 2 1964 the uh, let me pronounce this right Mobius kit <laughs> I love the comment section but anyway um getting back on it I've already done some bare metal foil and I wasn't gonna make a video I'm like I'm do uh, I do bare metal foil that's really the only tutorial I usually do but I am gonna do it again um, I already did the front uh, front glass rear glass and the side window but I'm going to do the other side um, that seems to be probably the the more difficult uh, front and rear, rear windows are pretty easy I actually did these in, in four pieces rather than doing the one big humongous piece um, I did use one piece here though this is just a single piece of uh, bare metal foil and I'm going to do that on the other side too this car also gets, it gets a lot. It gets this strip right here. This one's going to be fun. There's a little strip that runs all the way down. And then there's this that comes here, down, and to the front. So there's quite a bit of foil on this car. So, with my glasses on, before I forget, let's get a measurement. So, in millimeters, I show I need to have it, I, I overkill. Okay, so I'm going to go eight centimeters actually and it needs to be about two and a half centimeters tall so eight by about two and a half what is this i'll do it right here eight by two and a half i've got a very sharp with black um sharpie on it um razor so two and a half right here I'm going to show you how to properly waste a bunch of bare metal foil, but I think does a better job. Eight millimeter centimeters, sorry. And then I don't use my sharp sharp uh, sharp knife to get the foil off. I have one that's that's got a broken tip and it's dull, and I get it off with that one. Okay, so now I will lay this over. Let me do this where you can see, not where I can see. I need to move the camera up just a hair. And maybe over just a hair. There we go. Yeah, a little better. So, go ahead and lay it across the area that we're foiling get it started take your q-tip and let's get the, the bottom started first oh boy it's not sticking some of this bare metal foil is the worst but the harder you press the better it sticks so press the fire out of that without breaking your uh your car body hadn't had any trouble with the other not sticking Get it stuck all the way around this trim. And like I say, the harder you press, the better it does stick. I use these, I get them from the dollar store. These, they're, they're pointed. I'm trying to, there we go, pointed. The tips aren't real strong. But then the other day at Hobby Lobby, I was there and they had some of these um, on clearance. And I, this, I'm looking at this all backwards, but anyway, they had these. These have really, really, um, they were in the model aisle, by the way. They have a very, very stiff um, point. And you can, um, you can definitely get in these crevices and I'll show you what I mean. So press this in, get your quarter window pressed in. Don't press so hard you're going to bust through. Just get it pressed all the way down. You can stretch bare metal foil. It will stretch, but it will also rip. And it will also pull all the rest of it that you've got looking so good out if you're not careful. So get it all 
pressed very nicely just like so all in that quarter window and when you get it firmly pressed around the edges then we can cut the inner part out don't go ahead and cut the outer cut the inner and the reason I'm saying that if you go ahead and cut along the outside edge you only then have the uh, the foil that's holding this on the chrome to hold you as you cut this out so I find it better because you have a lot more already stuck go ahead and cut the center out um, and then you can go back and cut that outside last so cut this cut this center portion out giving yourself enough that you can roll it inward but not so much that it's just going to be a big wad on the quarter window you can get a little closer because it's only got to wrap that post in the corners if you can see make it a little slit in the corner so you can you can fold that you have to try and hold it um, because when you go to cut this last section it's just going to want to fold up on you said so without cutting your finger to the bone and I can't tell right now if you can see what I'm doing or not but if you can take that waste out and let's go ahead and do the quarter window it's really small I'm trying to do this where you can see and when I do it when you can see where you can see I can't see okay so in every corner give it a little little slit so it will be able to fold. All right, now gently with your Q-tip, roll those edges over. Roll all of those edges. Come on the inside and roll it on over and fold it down that will assure you that it's going to stay I have also when I've had problems with bare metal foil sticking and staying at least I've taken a little uh, Mod Podge or it might have been this this is thinner the um, testers clear part cement and I've just taken a little brush and just put some on the inner edge so it would hold it down in there preventing it from preventing it from uh, coming loose alright so here's I'm using these smaller pointed ones for this quarter window those edges rolled around And then the finer detail as far as the, the creases up in you can use these stiffer ones and get up in there to get a more defined um, edge also here's a little trick that I do so I've got a place okay so right here let's see if it will if it will um if it will try to focus where I want it to not where let's see right there okay good so there's a little place here that there's no foil it got um, kind of tore I don't know if you can see that or not I will take a little bit of chrome paint and just touch it there and believe it or not it's harder to tell than you think um, as long as you're not like completely or Maltop pin or something like that if you had some some of that uh, chrome do that rather than try and get another little piece and put in there at least that's my suggestion because it is uh, can be a pain to 
to do small small little portions okay so I got that now I'm going to cut this thing out and I'm probably make an idiot of myself as I usually do doing this okay so bottom edge first here let me make sure how much I'm cutting out starting right here and go I don't know if you can see this or not I can't look away right now though just like so and I'll come up here on this top rail pressing hard enough to cut the foil but not hard enough to damage the paint if you had to if your knife accidentally got off track and ran um, you don't want to do that you want to be super careful how hard you press because when you press it hard it's going to cut right through that paint and you're going to have damage if you're not careful and sometimes it is the hardest to see these darn edges okay i think that might have might have got it all right back with well i don't need it so when you start to remove now be careful with those corners because sometimes they don't cut all the way through on your corners. Okay, this one did, so that's good. So easy, easy, easy. Okay, I had a place right there because I started. There's a there's a joint right there where I um, stopped and started with my blade. So let me. there well no there okay well darn it what's going on here let me do this again there but I got it Okay, now take your, your Q-tip and push those corners back because a lot of times they will roll up on you. There's a little place I need to trim off. And take and push those edges down because when you pull the pull the uh, the foil it tends to pull that edge and it will be sticking up so pull that and there you go and again with any touch up places I usually use this uh, yeah I know it's harder to come by now but this chrome model masters chrome paint that's that's what I tend to, to use model masters chrome just a tid little tid, just a just a little 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 bit and touch it up in there and uh, that's it so I'm now going to off camera I'm gonna finish I'm gonna run this and this and this darn long piece right here but that's how I do bare metal foil some people ask I've done it on several several videos um and uh it's it's time consuming take your time sometimes not every time but sometimes it's better it's better for me to use a larger piece like i did here yes you get you get waste but it's faster in my opinion so there you go all right see you in a bit All right, so I got my bare metal foil finished. It, it turned out good. Uh, it's, there's there's quite a bit of bare metal foil to do on this, and I was looking at the back. This this rear portion right here. So on the box, at least, it shows that the whole the whole back would have been chrome. 
um, but I, I wasn't going to chrome the whole thing. So I just chromed just that area, which is fine with me. The color, once the chrome is on it, the, at first it was kind of like, it just like, it seemed like a rust color. It, it was like a mistake. Basically, it looked like a mistake. But the color is, once the chrome is on it now, it really looks nice. I haven't compared it to like what a stock color should be, but that that chrome made it really made it pop, and I'm 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 glad that it did because I was really you know second guessing myself because it is just a homemade color. But anyway, um, got the chassis and uh, interior engines in it uh, so that's looking nice um, I'm not running plug wires on this out yeah it's easier not to run plug wires that's not the reason I'm doing it because I want to enter a class that's box stock um, and in each seems like maybe this kits better than the last one box stock that I did because previously I did my uh, my 37 there that's a box stock and I was like well I'll uh maybe if I enter into a box stock class and then I did my then I did my uh my 48 it's box stock I'm like well maybe I'll enter that and then I'm doing this one it's like I'm not giving up on like doing um plug wires and things but I am going to not put plug wires. You know, I already got the engine in it. But the engine looks really nice. The only thing I'm kind of bummed at is the valve covers. The 320. Isn't it 327? Or is this a 283? Oh, you know what? Never mind. So, you know, on the turbo fires. Let me get a pointer. There's this little. There's this little place here on the valve covers right there. It's like a like a, a, a decal should go in there. And I'm thinking it the whole time this is 327 turbo fire or something like that. I, I don't know about my Chevrolet engines. I know that this is the same basic block or basic design as your 327, 350, 305, 283. They're all this, basically the same, I think. But it just seems like something needs to be there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. But it just seems like something ought to be there in that spot. It's like where a decal would go. So I looked on the sheet. And uh, there's no decals for the valve covers. Which stinks. But there are the there are the, the ones for the uh, hubcaps. The trunk. And the two for the... Uh, that go right there. Right there. So... It's going to be a nice looking, nice looking uh, kit. I've had some people ask me, would you show how you do your headliners? Yeah, no problem. I will. And it's easy, super easy. I hope I've not made it look like it was something that it's not. All I use, it's real simple. And I, I, I'll, um, I'm going to end this video at, at this point and I'll come back. We'll do a part three and, and a reveal and everything. But I use this deco art. And it doesn't have to be deco art, but this is just the one I have. It's black. So it's just flat black paint. And all I do is just paint the underside with the paint. You know, I brush it in. I brush all, I brush it in as much as I can. And I, I'll, um, on the next video, I will show how I do my headliners. Again, it's, I, I hope that I didn't give a false impression like I was putting a lot of time into them because it wasn't. It's just a simply this. It looks good though when you get it um, when you get it in, but I'll also get the windows installed, um, the decals on the body, the chrome installed on the body, the uh, locks need to be uh, have a chrome in the uh, in the rear here if it would focus. It's got anyway. It's got to have a lock. Got to get the wheels and tire combination put together. Question. So question to the community. You know how us guys, we like to do things somewhat our way. 
to <laughs> yeah our way I see so I'll, I'll be on the Facebook perusing the uh, endless builds on there and I will notice that at this point of a build the interiors in oh I gotta put my shifter in darn it I'm glad I saw that but at this point of a build the engines in the interiors in and usually the wheels will be on is this something that you guys do I seem to always wait to the last thing to get my wheels and tires put together let's see they're over here they're piled up I haven't even touched them I mean I haven't even cut the 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 hubcaps off the chrome tree to see um, to blackwash them or anything it's like <coughs> excuse me it's like that's the very last thing that ever crosses my mind but I'll see a lot of guys on Facebook and other in other channels they'll be they'll already have the wheels and tires on this thing I'm like I don't ever think about it am I alone on that or is it something that maybe some of you guys also um, you know struggle with and it's not really a struggle I choose to do them last I've even waited so long I've got the body not on this kit but I've done it before mounted the the chassis under the body everything's cool great glued in place and I go to put the wheels on the back and you know because on some cars it has less of a wheel well cut out than the front wouldn't go on I was like oh my goodness what am I gonna do wouldn't go in there because there wasn't enough room so I've got to get those wheels and tires um, mounted on this chassis before I make that mistake but anyway this is a really nice kit. Um, thank you to Mark over at Hobby Nut Models for sending me this kit um, to build and to promote. Hey, if you want one of these, go check them out. HobbyNutModels.com linked in the description below. But go get, go grab one of them. Um, grab some MCW paint, but don't put too much red in your brown or you'll get rust. But this looks good. All right, guys, I am done with part two here. I know it's not a lot. The, the majority of it was putting on the bare metal or showing the bare metal foil. But, hey, thanks for watching these videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you had not subscribed already, hit the subscription button, the notification bell, all those things. You know, it's up to you. Um, but I do appreciate all of you guys that support this channel, that watch me on a regular basis, that are members of the Patreon. Hey, if you're not a member of Patreon, that's okay. But you can join. It's linked in the description below. Thank you to the Facebook members that have, over the last year or so, um, that have joined the Facebook group. It's, uh, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. So many great resources there as far as people and their experiences. They're there. If you have a problem, plug it into the Facebook group. I promise you, you'll get some great information. But anyway enough of that go to the teespring store check that out facebook group already said that hobby models already said that um yeah hey guys thanks for watching this video and when we come back on part three we'll do some window installation we'll do a headliner show you guys how to do a headliner the way i do it this baby will be buttoned up and ready to go in i forgot to paint the red does the or, does this battery need red caps i bet it does so i need to do that get the red caps on the battery and a few other touch-ups but other than that get the wheels on this thing slide her up under with the windows in put some chrome on man take some final pictures hey guys thanks for watching this video you guys take care and we'll see you on the next one bye